What would you do if you saw an animal being abused right in front of you? Hi, my name is Natalie Doe, and today I'm going to be talking about animal abuse and cruelty. Specifically, I'll be discussing dogs, one of the most popular pets in America, yet also one of the most tortured and abused dogs in the world. Most people who see an abused dog probably wouldn't know what to do or would just ignore. Who in the world would even have the thought of a trained innocent dog who had no defense? Unfortunately, people of all ages are abusing dogs. Those include seniors, adults, teenagers, and even, as surprisingly as it is, children. Sometimes they might not even know that they, they might not even know that they're abusing a dog. For example, a senior could be forgetting to feed it. An adult could be leaving it outside for too long and it could be getting hurt. A teen can be so-called playing with it and they could be torturing it. A child could be trying to take care of it, but it could be getting hurt too. It is said that most dog abusers are children. This is because they might be abused themselves or they're having a rough life. This is also because it's harder for them to control their emotions and impulses. Associated characteristics of a child who abuses dogs may include those who do poorly in school, those who have few friends, those who are bullied, and they can also be known for skipping school and damaging other people's property. All of these feelings and actions can bundle up together and affect innocent dogs or any animal at, and who have done nothing wrong. When it comes to dog abuse, there are outrageous numbers. It is said that one in four pit bulls are killed each year. That's about 25% of pit, all pit bulls in the world. And usually this is because they're left on the streets and owners may make a fight for money. Sometimes they're seen as aggressive creatures, and owners use it to, as to an, an, an advantage and uh, make them fight for money because they're greedy. Another number that has been growing is the number of dogs put to sleep each year. 670,000 dogs are put to sleep each year. Usually when a dog is put to sleep, it's because they're really sick and the owners want them to die peacefully. But sometimes when they're put to sleep, it's because they're being abused, left on the streets, and they're extremely hungry. This, on this chart, you can see what percentage of animals who are being abused end up being, being dogs. 53% of all animals who are being abused are dogs. That's more than half of every single animal being abused. The other section, which contains many more types of animals, not just dogs, is nearly half of how many dogs are being abused. Even though there are so many dogs being abused till this day, there are still ways you can make a difference. One way is by not polluting. Although this is a whole other overwhelming topic in our world, people don't realize all it's affecting. Of course, it's affecting our planet with a bunch of trash on the ground, and cars on the streets nowadays, but it's affecting other lives too. Many dogs are dying because of us, and we don't even realize it. Sometimes when you go in public, you might see a stranded dog alone in the bushes, and it could be very dirty and hungry. They usually end up eating or drinking things that may not be safe to them. That could include dirty water or trash that us humans are too lazy to pick up off of the ground. When they eat these things, they get extremely sick, which is where we get the 670,000 dogs that have to be put asleep each year. Another way that we can stop dog abuse is supporting many of our local animal shelters and societies. Hope for Paws is a rescue that helps save injured and abandoned animals. ASPCA, also known as the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals is a society you can help donate to to save all animals. The Humane Society of the United States is a society that not only, not only saves dogs, but all animals who are being abused and put down. The last way that we can stop dog abuse is by adopting a dog you know you can take care of. Although this is kind of to convince my parents to buy me a dog, <laughs> it's also because there are many dogs who don't get a loving home and have to be taken in by people who are unable to take care of them. 
By doing many of these small things, we can stop that abuse. 